This is your official Wildcat and Lady Cat station, KSST 1230 AM, Sulphur Springs, Texas. And it's time for Lady Cat Softball. Uh, by district, round one. Let's go to White House, where the game will be called by KSST Sports Director Don Julian. Don? James Terry, thank you very much. And we are at a beautiful, uh, relatively new field. I think it's a year or two old here at White House. Uh, uh, the last time I was over here, they had an aging uh, baseball stadium, aging football stadium, and I'd never been to the softball complex, but I would imagine it would be aging. And uh, now they have this beautiful uh, facility here, uh, all uh, artificial turf. And uh, I'm not, I didn't take a real close look at baseball, but they may be the same thing. It is just right next door, and everything's gorgeous out here. They have a brand-new high school uh, here in White House. I'm sure it's uh, not uh, very old at all. And uh, so lots of uh, new things. Now, the football stadium, I think, got a little bit of an upgrade, but it's it's still uh, uh, what uh, fans w would remember from the last time they were there. It seemed like it's been a while since we uh, actually played them in uh, football. Maybe, maybe we just skipped them one year. I, I'm not sure, but if you add a premier in there, maybe it's been a couple of years. But... Uh, the last time these two softball teams met was in 2015. It was a bi-district series, and the first game was actually played at the Brook Hill Academy, and that's one reason I've never been to a softball game here. The next two games were played at Lady Cat Park, games two and three, and White House took that series two games to one. So uh, that's uh, and and that's relevant to uh, maybe just to me. <laughs> the only uh, people that would remember that. I'm not sure about on the White House side because uh, they, uh, for the, for example, their head coach has been here at White House for some time. In fact, he came over, uh, I think, with the football coach that came from Dangerfield um, from uh, way back when. And uh, so uh, he, he was surely on this field maybe as an assistant or something or in uh, some other capacity. But David Carrillo and uh, Chris Valdivinos, only ones that uh, – well, on the active roster, all of our 10 seniors, they were in the eighth grade. So that's, uh, you know, how time flies. But that was four years ago, back in the 15 uh, softball season. And uh, umpire's meeting going on right now. We'll tell you that White House is a fourth-place team in District 16-5A with a record of 18-9. and nine. And the Lady Cats, the district champions of 15-5A, uh, and their season record is 22 and 6. So that's uh, uh, how this uh, shapes up uh, for this ball game. And we'll also tell you that the uh, winner of this series will play the winner of a series going on between, or it could be an individual game. I'm not sure what they decided for or decided to, to do. But uh, they, the winner in this bracket will play Midlothian or Mesquite Poteet. I think Midlothian was a runner-up, and Poteet was a third-place team. Uh, handshakes all around uh, at home plate, and uh, very shortly our PA announcer here will uh, be announcing both teams here, and uh, we'll have our pregame uh, uh, event uh, take place uh, just as soon as he decides to do that because uh, the umpires are waiting at home plate. The teams are around the dugout areas, and... Uh, as uh, we await uh, the introduction of the players, probably a national anthem, we would assume, and then uh, we'll play ball here. Game one, best two out of three series, uh, White House, the Lady Cats, and we will not be calling them that tonight. It obviously can be confusing, and the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs. So they'll either be, well, probably just White House. Uh, we'll probably just stick with White House. Um, I don't even know if they prefer like uh, Lady Wildcats. We get that occasionally, this Lady Cat team, somewhere they may play, and we get called that. And I don't, you know, it's not like the end of the world to be called that, but just kind of, we had one coach way back uh, referred to his team as the Lady Wildcats. And uh, so that's the only one of those <laughs> I'm really familiar with. Every other coach has coached the Lady Cats. But uh, just a, uh, just a couple of minutes from 6 o'clock. That's a scheduled start time, and uh, very soon we will be uh, hearing the uh, introduction of the players here, uh, White House and uh, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs. Let's see, uh, somewhere here, I don't know if I pulled that out. Uh, 
I have a uh, uh, all the other teams uh, in our district and who they're playing. Hallsville, for example, playing Lindale in a bi-district game between our two districts. Mount Pleasant uh, is playing Marshall. Uh, those two teams getting together, and Texas High is playing Good Jacksonville. Evening, now let's check in with a PA announcer. Complex in White House, Texas. Tonight, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs will be taking on your very own White House Lady Cats. And now the lineups for the Sulphur Springs Lady Cats. They enter tonight's game with a record of 22 and 6. At shortstop, number 7, Kelsey Wallace. Playing right field, number 4, Allie Fight. Catching, number 22, Brinkley Driver. Playing third base, number 3, Kate Womack. Playing center field, number 18, Sadie Stroud. At second base, number 17, Sierra Smith. Number 10, the designated player, Addison Cadell. At first base, number 12, Maddie Millsap. In left field, number six, Nyla Lindley. The flex player, number one, Bailey Haggerty. The rest of the lineup for Sulphur Springs, number two, Gracie Magnuson. Number five, Colbria Harrison. Number eight, Landry Bell. Number 11, Heather Brown, number 13, Tessa Holt, and number 16, Darby Williams. Head coach of Sulphur Springs is David Carrillo. And now your White House Lady Cats. Playing center field, number four, Kenzie White. Pitching tonight, Number 14, Maddie Wright. Batting third and playing third base. Number 11, Michaela Moore. Catching number two, Jaden Gunn. Designated player number 17, Carly Cobb. Playing first base, number six, Caroline Smoot. At shortstop, batting seventh, number 10, Chloe Hortman. In left field, number three, Paulina Diaz. Batting ninth at second base, number eight, Avery Taylor. And our flex player, number nine, Brianna Russell. The remainder of the Lady Cats, number one, Maya Pixley. Number five, Presley Skinner. Number seven, JC Chambliss. And number two, Callie Smith. White House is coached by Chris Clements. If everyone would please rise and face our flag as tonight we honor America with our national anthem.
find our <coughs> national anthem here. What you probably thought was uh, some drum beating going on. Probably the wind getting in our microphone. There is a strong breeze uh, blowing uh, at this one. And I'm uh, from the looks of the flags, uh, well, it may be a, like we see at uh, Lady Cat Park from time to time. The wind kind of blowing uh, from left to right. Although right at this very moment, it looks like it's kind of blowing out. So it looks like the wind is kind of shifting around here. And we will see if uh, that has an impact on things. As warming up now for White House, their uh, starting pitcher is Maddie Wright, a right-hander. Uh, Jaden Gunn is their catcher. Caroline Smoot is at first. Avery Taylor at second. Michaela Moore at third. And Chloe Hortman at shortstop. Paulina Diaz is in left, uh, Kenzie Wright in center, and Brianna Russell is in right field for uh, White House. And there's the peg down to second base as uh, Kelsey Wallace gets ready to lead off for the Lady Cats here in the uh, top of the first inning. Kelsey uh, hitting from the right side for the Lady Cats. David Carrillo coaching down at third base and uh, Right now, he's uh, having a very pleasant, I'm sure, discussion with one of the umpires down there at third. Bailey Dorner coaching down at first for the Lady Cats. Here's Kelsey Wallace stepping in. And Maddie Wright ready to work. And the first pitch comes in, uh, low and outside for ball one to Kelsey Wallace. First pitch, uh, by the way, tonight, let's just say 6.06. Ball one count now to uh, Kelsey Wallace. And the 1-0 pitch swung on, hit foul back behind home plate. One ball and one strike to uh, Kelsey Wallace. Really good uh, shortstop for the Lady Cats. Been in that position for four years. And the wind up and the 1-1 pitch is swung on and laced a base hit to left field. A one hopper out to the left fielder and Kelsey Wallace leads off the game with a solid single. There goes the no hitter. And that'll bring up Allie Fight and we'll see if uh, David Carrillo is uh, going to play small ball here. And I tell you what, this that's when this challenge of this field will come in. I don't know how much, of course, in tournament time would have had some experience, but how much uh, experience they've had trying to bunt on an artificial turf field where that ball's going to just get out to some people very quickly. First pitch to fight, uh, lets that one go in. Wallace will steal second base as she took off, and uh, the ball got away from the catcher just a little. So a stolen base now for Kelsey Wallace. She's down at second. The pitch was in there for a call strike to Alley Fight. Now don't have to worry about that sacrifice. Third baseman and first baseman still in quite a bit. And the old one pitch swung on and hit one hopper to the second base. Oh, she threw wild to first base, and here comes Wallace in to score, and the Lady Cats take a one to nothing lead. So a throwing error, and uh, boy, that's a judgment call whether or not it was the throw or whether the first baseman just did not catch it. I guess we will ring it up as an E4. And so Allie fight on on the error, and uh, there'll be no RBI on that as uh, Kelsey Wallace comes in to score, and it's one to nothing. Here's Brinkley Driver. Runner at first and nobody out. Lady Cats with a one to nothing lead. The pitch to uh, uh, Brinkley is outside for ball one. Again, Allie fight at first. And on deck for the Lady Cats is Kate Womack. And the pitch on the way, swung on and blooped uh, towards center field, and it's going to be in there, hit to right between the second baseman heading back and the center fielder coming in. And a base hit, a, a duck snort out into uh, right center field for a Brinkley driver. So runners at second and first with nobody out. And the run in, and here's Kate Womack. And now, uh, real quickly here, White House is going to, have a meeting uh, out inside the pitching circle as this game has not uh, started out well for them. But 
Lady Cats with a pair of singles and an error in between. Well, throwing error to first base. And uh, David Carrillo tried to sneak one in on us there. Tried to sneak that uh, runner coming in for Brinkley Driver. Uh, and that is Cole Bria Harrison now running at first base for Brinkley Driver as the meeting continues in the circle. Coach Clemens, Chris Clemens, and what a fine gentleman he is, uh, a very nice fellow. And uh, enjoyed meeting him. He's been on this uh, White House staff and coached around a little bit of everything. Again, came over as a, as a football assistant from Dangerfield. And here's Kate Womack now with runners at first and second. Lady Cats with a run in. Nobody out as the scoreboard just went dark. Here's a pitch to uh, Kate Womack down too low for ball one. I wonder if they made a mistake and sometime you have to kill everything and start over again. But we seem to have an outage with the scoreboard, so 1-0. and oh, I'll have to be sure and catch all the pitches. This pitch swung on and hit. Uh, oh, what a catch down the third baseline. Oh, what a nice catch. I did not think she could make that. That was Michaela Moore uh, sprawling out and making the catch actually in foul territory for out number one. So put a star by that one for out number one. Here's Sadie Stroud, the center fielder. Runners at second and first. One out. The Lady Cats leading one to nothing. And Wright's pitch on the way. That was inside ball one. This is Maddie Wright. My secret sources tell me she's about the only pitching that White House has. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That's in there for a call strike. One ball and one strike. And Stroud steps out now back in. Again, Alley fight at second. Cole Bria Harrison at first. This pitch outside. Two and one the count. Here's Sadie Stroud. And on deck for the Lady Cats, Sierra Smith. And the 2-1 pitch swung on base hit to left field. And uh, Coach Carrillo will put the brakes on Alley Fight as the uh, left fielder got to it quickly and fired a strike back to the uh, pitcher. So the bases are loaded for the Lady Cats. Number 17, Sierra Smith. With a run in and and Grand Slam, uh, Sierra Smith up there. She's had one this year. And Maddie Wright, first pitch on the way. Catcher dragged it into the strike zone, but it was outside, ball one. I was talking about dragging that ball into the strike zone with Jared Hammock, and he's kind of like, who would go for that? <laughs> and that pitch just off the plate, that was close, 2-0 oh the count. I see it all the time. I'm, the catcher will pull that ball in the strike zone. I'm will fire up that right hand. That's why they do it, because uh, sometimes they'll get that call. Here's a 2-0 pitch. That was very close. That is a call strike. That caught the outside part of the plate. Can't give up on this umpire. He is he is a deliberate in the, in the strike call, so you have to kind of weigh him out there. 2-1 and one, the count. And the pitch to Smith. That was on the outside part of the plate. Three and one to Sierra Smith. And as we used to say in Little League, no place to put them. The bases are full of Lady Cats here in the top of the first inning. With one out. And the pitch to Sierra swung on and hit. Uh, second baseman uh, bobbled it through to first. Got Sierra Smith, but Allie Fight came in to score. That's You can do that at second. You can bobble that ball a little and uh, get away with that. That's out number two. But on the play, Alley Fight scored to make it two to nothing. And Colbria Harrison moves down to uh, third base. And uh, Sadie Stroud at second. And here's Addison Cadell, and the pitch is a call strike on the outside part of the plate. 0 1 to the Lady Cats designated player. I like designated hitter. That's you. You're in there to hit. <laughs> 
And the old one pitch swung on and uh, grounded slowly back to the pitcher's mound. The throw to first or to the circle, and the throw is in time. And that'll do it for the Lady Cats, but they get off to a good start as uh, they score a couple of runs. And uh, they had three hits in the first inning, one uh, White House error, and the Lady Cats left two runners on base. So we played half an inning here from White House. It's uh, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs 2 and White House coming to bat. And it's the bottom of the uh, first inning here at White House. And the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs 2 and White House 0. I think I've determined that one of those runs in the uh, top of the first inning unearned. So uh, one earned run and one unearned run. As Bailey Haggerty gets ready to uh, pitch for the Lady Cats here in the bottom of the first inning. Let's set the Lady Cats defensively for you. Uh, Brinkley Driver is catching. And Bailey Haggerty in the circle. Maddie Millsap at first. Sierra Smith at second. Kate Womack is at third. And Kelsey Wallace at short. Nyla Lindley in left. Sierra Stroud, or make that Sadie Stroud in center. And Allie Fight in right field. And Coach Chris Clemens down at uh, third base in the coaching box. And one of his assistant coaches is taking over at uh, first base. As uh, their leadoff hitter getting ready to hit here. That'll be a left-handed uh, hitter, Kinsey Wright. Kinsey, the center fielder for White House. First batter against Bailey Haggerty. Her fourth year uh, being out there in the circle. And Bailey toes that uh, pitching rubber. And ready to pitch to Kinsey Wright. The pitch on the way, and that one came in there for a call strike. Looks like maybe right across the letters, a high strike. And 0-1 and the count. And Haggerty ready to work, and the 0-1 pitch is swung on and hit uh, a base hit out to right field. Lady Cats threw back to first base, but uh, right uh, in there easily with a base hit that just eluded Sierra Smith, the second baseman. So Wright leads off with a base hit. And a tying run comes to the plate now for White House. This is Maddie Wright, the pitcher for White House. A left-handed hitter. That was an open stance. And the pitch from Bailey Haggerty is in there for a call strike. Lady Cats 2, White House 0, but... Uh, with White House with a runner at first and nobody out. And the 0-1 pitch. Outside, 1-1. One and one. The count to Maddie Wright. Right, right back in the batter's box. As they open up with two left-handed hitters against Bailey Haggerty. Pitch on the way. And that's in there for a call strike. One ball and two strikes. And Maddie Wright steps out with a couple of practice swings. Now she's back in the batter's box. And Bailey back ready to work. And the 1-2 pitch on the way. Foul tip back uh, to the screen, and the count remains. One ball and two strikes. Beautiful uh, day here. Kind of kind of breezy, but but very, very nice. And Haggerty ready to work. Here's the one-two pitch. Missed outside. Two and two the count. And again, Maddie Wright uh, stepping out with a couple of practice swings. Back in that uh, batter's box. And this is not one of them that the batters can abuse. You can't get rid of those lines. These are permanent. <laughs> Here's the two-two pitch. That one swung on and hit foul uh, off to the left side. Caught the screen. And Fell down right around the uh, White House dugout. White House dugout here along the third base line. The Lady Cats are along the first base uh, line in their dugout. And Bailey Haggerty ready, and here is the 2-2 pitch. And that just missed outside. The count goes full now to Maddie Wright. Kenzie Wright uh, running down at first base. After a opened uh, the White House inning with a base hit to right field. 
And Bailey Haggerty, the 3-2 pitch, swung on, grounded uh, to second base, Sierra Smith. The throw to first, not in time. And uh, just beat that one out. That's a left-handed batter and hit the ball in the hole. Sierra had to go a long way. And the throw to first, not in time. So a leg base hit. So White House has put the rights on base uh, with uh, Kenzie Wright at second and Maddie Wright at first. And here's Michaela Moore, third baseman. Saw her make a nice catch in the uh, top of the inning. Stretching out and catching the ball in foul territory down that third base line. Pitch from Bailey Haggerty and just off the plate for ball one. White House with the tying runs on the bases here in the bottom of the first. With a pair of uh, singles uh, that, uh, to open them, their offense here. And Haggerty's 1-0 pitch. That is in there for a call strike. One ball and one strike. And Moore now steps out with a practice swing. And Haggerty back on the pitching rubber. And the 1-1 pitch just off the plate. Two balls and one strike to Michaela Moore. And Moore steps out, practice swings. And Haggerty ready to go here. And the 2-1 pitch. That was off the plate, three and one, the count. Lady Cats had the bases loaded in the uh, top of the first and White House is on the verge of doing the same here. Of course, we've seen Bailey battle back from a lot of 3-1 counts. And ready to go and the 3-1 pitch. Swung on and hit foul down the left field line. Nyla Lindley heading over, could not catch up to it. Landed right in front of her in foul territory. So a foul ball and the count uh, is now three balls and two strikes. We're at full count. Second batter in a row that uh, Haggerty has gone full with, also with Maddie Wright, who then got an infield single. And the 3-2 pitch is swung on in a base hit, hit right up the middle, uh, fielded by the center fielder. They'll throw home uh, to Brinkley Driver, and the runners uh, will hold up station-to-station uh, -station baseball in the White House with the bases loaded here with uh, three straight singles to open uh, their bottom of the first inning. And here's Jaden Gunn, the catcher, hitting in that four spot. And Gunn from the right side steps in. A bat for the Wildcats, number two, Jaden Gunn. And the pitch on the way is misses uh, from ball one. Bases loaded, nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. Lady Cats with a two to nothing lead. And here's Haggerty with the 1-0 pitch. That swung on and lifted to right field. Uh, Alley fight having to back up, made the catch, battling the sun. The run will tag and come in to, oh, yeah. I hate to tell you, she missed the plate, but now she got it as she uh, came back. She had to jump over the catcher, Brinkley Driver, and uh, but she did go back and get that plate. Uh, so that uh, is a sacrifice fly for Gunn and an RBI to make it a 2-1 ball game. Alley fight battling that sun out there. That was not an easy catch at all with that sun right in the eyes. And uh, the other runners tagged up two and they're third and second. First pitch comes in now to uh, Carly Cobb and she hits a foul back uh, behind her for strike one. Runners at third and second, one out and a two to one ball game now. Cobb the designated player. And Haggerty's 0-1 pitch that bounced in, one ball and one strike. Again, Maddie right at third, Michaela Moore running down at second. They both tagged up on as that throw came into home plate from Alley Fight, who actually had to back up out there a little bit in right field. Here's a 1-1 pitch, and that was a foul tip. 
off of Brinkley Driver and then back uh, to the base of the uh, screen. So it's uh, one ball and two strikes to Cobb. And Bailey Haggerty ready to work. Here's a 1-2 pitch. Just missed off the outside part of the plate. Two balls and two strikes. And Bailey back ready to go here. And the 2-2 pitch on the way, swung on, hit foul, tipped the screen, and then came back up in the crowd. And uh, nice catch there by a fan off to our right. He's in mid-season form there. Two and two, the count remains on Cobb. Runners at third and second, one out. And Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs, 2-1 lead. And the next pitch comes in, swung on and, and hit to fair down the first baseline. Millsap will tag the runner coming down the line, but White House has tied the game on Cobb's uh, little grounder down to uh, third base. And that's out number two, but on the play, Maddie Wright scores. And uh, Michaela Moore moves down to third. So runner at third, we're tied at two. And here's Caroline Smoot. First baseman for White House. And the pitch from uh, Haggerty is fouled off to the right side, hit into the screen, and then landed over in the Lady Cats dugout. Strike one. As each team has uh, pounded on the plate twice here. And the old one pitch on the way, swung on and grounded to Sierra Smith. Nice big hop, so she had trouble with it. Gets it over to Maddie Millsap in time for out number three. That looked like the old hot potato there. But uh, White House comes up with two runs. They had three hits. There were no Lady Cat errors. And uh, one White House runner left on base. We've played one complete inning here uh, from White House. Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs, two, and White House, two. And yeah, top of the second inning from White House. Both teams scoring twice in the first inning, so it's a 2-2 tie. Lady Cats will have 8-9-1 and one in the order coming up here in the top of the second inning. It'll be Maddie Millsap, Nyla Lindley, and then the top of the order, Kelsey Wallace. Be hitting against uh, Maddie Wright in her second inning of work. Right now, there's a meeting going on in the center circle, kind of the things that happen after, right before they get ready to break and go to their positions for the start of the inning. So, and Maddie Millsap from the right side, hitting down in the eight hole. They give her a lot of room up the middle. I guess they depend on the pitcher to feel a lot of that area. And Maddie Wright's pitch is in there for a call strike to um, Maddie Millsap. Maddie versus Maddie here in the top of the second inning. Each team uh, two runs and three hits in that first inning. And the 0-1 pitch swung on grounded on one big hop to the shortstop. The throw to first is good, and that's out number one. Well, it's odd to watch these true hops. <laughs> we don't, don't always see that uh, with the dirt field at Lady Cat Park. And that could be a factor in that ball game tomorrow night, having to play on that uh, regular dirt. Here's Nyla Lindley, one out, nobody on in the top of the second inning. Pitch to Nyla. She looked like she wanted to bunt, took a strike. 0-1 oh, the count from Maddie Wright. And right, so one pitch on the way. Swung on grounded, uh, one hop to the shortstop. The throw to first is in time for out number two. So they've tested that shortstop twice. And both times, Chloe Hortman has had the answer. Two up and two out, and here's Kelsey Wallace. 
She opened the game with a single, came around to score the first Lady Cats run. She also stole a base in that first inning. Maddie Wright's first pitch on the way, took something off that, was outside for ball one. And right, uh, ready to work here. And the 1 0 pitch. That was high and outside. 2 0 the count to Kelsey Wallace. If you didn't know what classification the Lady Cat was in, if you guessed senior, you would more than likely be right. 10 of them. Here's a 2 0 pitch. Oh, and that uh, hit Kelsey, I believe. Or let's see if they're going to rule it hit the bat. She's certainly indicating that it hit the wrist. And uh, she is still kind of writhing in pain there at home plate area. And David Carrillo comes down. I didn't see an indication of that, though. That no, the umpire looked like, uh, boy, Kelsey looks like she is in some pain there with that, uh, with that right wrist. That ball got her, and it was a pretty good speed pitch. And I believe a trainer now from White House is out there helping out, so... And uh, and so Kelsey Wallace down to first base after being hit by the pitch. So Kelsey Wallace on at first for two outs, and here's Allie Fight. She was on an error in the first inning. Yeah, grounder to second base, but a wild throw to first allowed her to get on base. So Allie 0 for 1, playing her pretty well straight away in the outfield. Might be swinging around for her to hit just a little late. And the pitch to Allie came in low for ball 1. Wallace will take off and will steal second base, get her second steal of the ball game. So now in scoring position with two out here. I'll tell you what, you would have to coach third and everything differently with uh, this artificial field. That ball's going to get to those outfielders quickly. And so you have to be sure that your runner can score. And the 1-0 pitch. Call strike on the outside part of that plate. And uh, note, that ball was dragged into the strike zone, <laughs> in my humble opinion, from here. And the 1-1 pitch is swung on and hit out to right field. It's over the head and all the way to the wall on a couple of hops. Wallace will come in to score. Alley fight round second. She's going to continue to head toward third. The throw not in time. A triple for Alley fight and RBI. And the Lady Cats are up 3-2. to two. So a run after two outs on a hit batter, stolen base, and then the triple by Alley fight. Up next, number 22, Brinkley Driver. That'll bring up Brinkley Driver. She uh, hit a, a blooper that uh, went out uh, between the second baseman and the center fielder. You always quote Mike Hargrove, former Ranger and Cleveland Indians manager, and call that a chinker. That pitch bounces in on one hop for ball one. He always liked a little chinker to help the batting average every once in a while. Out there in West Texas, he was from somewhere. Here's a 1-0 and pitch, and that is going to be a call strike on that outside part of the plate. All of a sudden, that umpire beginning to like that outside pitch. And Matty Wright ready to work. And 1-1 one -one pitch to driver, and that one is down too low. 2-1 two and one the count. And Brinkley, catcher for the Lady Cats. As of this year, she was a first baseman before that. Actually did a little pitching uh, when she was a freshman. 
And the 2 1 pitch outside, and 3 and 1 the count. And Brinkley steps back in with Allie Fight running down at third base. Two outs, Lady Cats leading 3 2. And the 3 1 pitch. Ball strike on the outside part of the plate, 3 and 2 the count. And Brinkley back in there. And playing her pretty well straight away. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Ooh, a, a smash through the center field, uh, out into center field. It just missed the pitcher. She's glad she'll have that uh, catcher's mask on as hard as that ball was hit, but a solid RBI single for Brinkley Driver. The Lady Cats are up 4 to 2. As Allie Fight comes in to score. Cole Bria Harrison again running at first base for Brinkley Driver. And the hitter, Kate Womack. Walk off Kate. That big home run that won the ball game against Lindale. Seemed like several weeks ago. And the first pitch from Matty Wright, and that, uh, and the runner takes off. Harrison steals second base. The ball ends up out in center field. She collided with the shortstop, who is getting up uh, a little slowly there after a collision there at second base. Uh, boy, a lot happening around that bag on a throw to second with a runner coming in. and So Colbria Harrison with a stolen base. And one and one and zero oh the count to Kate Womack. Maddie Wright ready to work now with Harrison at second, and the one and zero oh pitch is in there for a call strike inside part of the plate. One and one the count to Kate Womack. Kate hit a liner down the third baseline in foul territory. The third baseman made a nice catch down there, leaning over into foul territory to make that catch. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Missed outside, 2-1 and one the count. Lady Cats have scored uh, two runs. After uh, two were out, first two batters up and out. Here's a 2-1 pitch. Swung on base hit to left field by Kate Womack. And they will send uh, Cole Bria Harrison. Here's the throw to the plate. Cut off the throw to second. Is going to be in time, but the run will score as uh, coming in to score Colbria Harrison before the throw to second base. As David Carrillo did check that with the home plate umpires he was going by, and the home plate umpire confirmed that. So that's going to do it for the Lady Cats. They score three runs in the inning. And uh, they had two hits. There were no uh, White House errors, and nobody left on base. We've played an inning and a half. Boy, this is uh, like the... Uh, Thursday night slow pitch league so far. It's after an inning and a half. It's uh, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs 5 and White House 2. Wanted to uh, correct uh, as I was uh, getting out of the inning there. I said uh, three runs, two hits. It was actually three runs and three hits in the, in the inning for the Lady Cats as they have five runs and six hits uh, through the first inning and a half for, for their two at bats. And White House, two runs and three hits. But just now getting their second bat in here, and they will have the bottom three in their batting order. We'll have Chloe Hortman, Paulina Diaz, and Avery Taylor. Six or seven, or make that seven, eight, and nine in the order. And uh, Chloe Hortman, shortstop for White House. Shown some good glove out there in the field with a couple of good shortstop plays. And Bailey Haggerty's first pitch in the bottom of the second swing and a miss for strike one to Hortman. With Diaz on a deck. And they actually have a, I can actually say in the on deck circle. I usually avoid that because they never have it. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Pitch misses outside, one ball and one strike. But they actually have a circle here. And of course, like everything else on this field, it is permanent. <laughs> I guess you could paint over it if you wanted to for some unknown reason. 
Bailey Haggerty with a 1-1 pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. And 1-2 and the count to Hortman. Lady Cats 5 and White House 2 as we play here in the bottom of the second inning. Batters rule so far in this ball game. And Haggerty now with a 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And uh, Bailey Haggerty picking up her first strikeout of the ball game. And that'll bring up Paulina Diaz. Paulina Diaz. Plays out there in left field for White House. White House with maroon tops with uh, white sleeves, maroon uh, socks, white pants. Our radio audience. And the first pitch now to Diaz is in there for a call strike. Lady Katz uh, with kind of a that metallic, I'd call it a metallic blue or something that's kind of popular. Black pants, blue socks. And Haggerty ready to go. Here's the old one pitch on the way. And that is in there. And uh, all of a sudden, Haggerty, a strike throwing machine here in the second inning as she's had only one ball to the batters. Everything else a strike. 0 oh 2 in the count now to uh, Diaz. And the 0-2 pitch, call strike three. <laughs> so two up and two out uh, via the strikeout route. And here's the second baseman for White House, Avery Taylor, hitting in the nine hole. Another right-handed hitter. Checks with her coach Clemens uh, down at third. See if he had anything on. If you could give a hit sign, I'm sure that's what it was. Oh, she's actually bunting and she pops it up. Haggerty will make the catch. And uh, the Lady Cats get them up and down in order in the bottom of the second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and uh, nobody left on base. We played two complete innings here from White House. Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs, five, and White House, two. And moving along now to the top of the third inning, uh, uh, scheduled Lady Cats hitters will be Sadie Stroud, Sierra Smith, and Addison Cadell. Hitters 5, 6, and 7 uh, scheduled to hit here in the top of the third inning. Again, the Lady Cats with a 5-2 lead. Five runs, six hits for the Lady Cats, and two runs and three hits for White House as we play here in the top of the third. Sadie Stroud is one for one in the ball game. She singled uh, back in that first inning. And Maddie Wright with the first pitch is in there for a call strike to Sadie Stroud. And the old one pitch, that bounced in, one ball and one strike. And Sadie steps back in from the right side, right down on the end of that bat. And the one one pitch, call strike on the outside part of the plate, one and two, the count to Sadie Stroud. And the one-two pitch, high and outside, two and two the count. Look like several fields uh, are real interesting for the sun. That second baseman and right fielder, we've already seen that with Alley Fight out there. Probably the first baseman, too, hard to see, I would think. Two-two pitch, swung on and hit uh, down to the first baseman. She'll step on the bag, making the play down there. Caroline Smoot for out number one. Seen the ball a couple of times. It looked like it landed initially in foul territory, but uh, once it gets back into Betty fair territory before it passes first base, Sierra it's a fair Smith. ball. It seemed like we've seen that twice. Here's Sierra Smith. She grounded to second her first time up. 0 for 1. And the pitch to Sierra. Swung on hit out to, towards center field. Caught out there by the center fielder. Ball hung up for Kinsey Wright out there in center field for out number 2. Two up and two out, and here's Addison Cadell. She grounded back to the pitcher her first time up. 0 for 1. Up 
next for Sulphur Springs, number 10, Addison Cadell. And a pitch on the way is uh, low and outside, ball one to Addison. Hitting from the right side. They're playing her back a little bit with two out. Oh, one pitch swung on and a big hop. Uh, oh, a snag by the shortstop. Throw to first is in time. What a beautiful play by the shortstop. Chloe Hortman uh, able to get to that ball back behind second base and making a strong, accurate throw to uh, end uh, the uh, top of the third inning. Lady Cats up and down in order with no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. And we played two and a half here from White House. Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs, five, and White House, two. It's a bottom of the third inning here at White House, and uh, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs with a 5-2 lead. And White House will uh, start with the uh, top of the order with uh, Kenzie Wright, Maddie Wright, and uh, Michaela Moore, 1-2 and 3 in their order. And these, uh, this trio was uh, triple trouble back in the uh, bottom of the first as all three of those uh, first three batters singled, and two of them came around to score. Well, Kenzie Wright, she's one for one. Hit the ball into right field. It just eluded the second baseman, and she came all the way around to score. Scored on that sacrifice fly. And Bailey Haggerty in her third inning. A pitch on the way is going to miss outside, ball one. So 1-0 and oh, the count to Kinsey Wright. A left-handed leadoff hitter. And the 1-0 -oh pitch is in there for a call strike. One ball and one strike. And by district night, district 15 playing district 16. And the 1-1 one, one pitch, call, strike, one ball and two strikes. Again, Mount Pleasant playing Marshall. Texas High is playing Jacksonville. And uh, Hallsville playing Lindale tonight. And I have no idea where those games are being played. <laughs> Here's a 1-2 pitch, it missed outside. Two balls and two strikes. Do know the winner of this one will play Mesquite Poteet or Mid Lothian. The Battle of the M's. Bailey Haggerty with a 2 2 count now on uh, Kenzie Wright. And a 2 2 pitch. Just missed outside. That was a close pitch. The ball in the count is uh, full at three balls and two strikes. Right back in the batter's box. And Haggerty's 3-2 pitch. Swung on, grounded slowly to Sierra Smith. Feels it, throws to first. Boy, very close play and just out at first base. Boy, with a speedy runner and a slap hitter from the left side, that makes that ton. And Sarah Smith knew she had to hurry and just nipped her at first base. So one up and one out, and here's Maddie Wright. She singled, and she scored back in the first inning. Comes in one for one. And she just uh, flat hit the ball in the hole. The second baseman got to it but couldn't throw her out. And that pitch misses outside for ball one. I want to know the count to the two-hole hitter for White House, Maddie Wright, the pitcher. And next pitch on the way, swung on, grounded to Wallace at short. One big hop, long throw across, not nearly in time. And I think of our baseball coach when I see that play. Speed never slumps. So infield base hit, that's two of them for Maddie Wright. Has not gotten the ball out of the infield, but she's two for two, and she's been on first base both times. And now Michaela Moore singled in the first. 
Pitch on the way, and that uh, in there for a call strike. Brinkley Driver keeping a close eye on uh, Maddie Wright to uh, see if she decides to try to swipe a base here. And the 0-1 pitch, and that ball drilled out to right field, and it's over the head of Alley Fight all the way to the wall. And uh, there's a throw uh, back toward the infield. The runner coming uh, home, and she will score. She just never stopped running, and nobody, the ball was not thrown to a cutoff player. So it just uh, was alive in the infield, and by the time somebody caught the ball, the third baseman actually in the middle of the diamond, the runner comes all the way in to score on uh, the RBI double by Michaela Moore. And it's a 5-3 ball game. Up next for Lady Cats. So one out with a runner on second. As Jaden Gunn is the hitter. She had a sacrifice fly that drove in a run. And the old one pitch on the way is swung on, hit foul. I thought that was going to go over her head, but that screen is so tall it catches just about everything. 0 oh 2 the count now to Jaden Gunn. Had an aptly named sheriff uh, when I lived in Bell County named Lester Gunn. And here's the 0-2 pitch, swung on, and uh, blew past Haggerty, and uh, no, no, it got through. Uh, Wallace, here comes the runner to score as uh, Wallace and Sierra Smith kind of got crossed up, and the ball went in between them. And able to score from second base was Michaela Moore to make it a 5-4 ball game. I, thought, I think uh, Sierra thought that Wallace was going to take charge, and then they both kind of backed off, and the ball on that artificial turf rolled between them and roll for a while. So a single for a gun. And it's a 5-4 ball game now with one out, a runner at first. And Cobb is the batter. She hit the ball down to the first baseman unassisted her first time up. 1-0 pitch from Bailey Haggerty. Swung on foul back in the screen. One ball and one strike to Cobb. I think a Thai cop, they called him the Georgia Peach. Would this be the White House Peach, perhaps? <laughs> Carly Cobb. One ball, one strike, one out. And White House runner at first base. Pitch on the way. In there for a call strike. One ball and two strikes. And Gunn running at the first base. Was double checking to see if they might have snuck a pinch runner in there. Here's uh, Haggerty's 1 2 pitch. Uh, throw to first by Brinkley Driver. The pitch missed apparently. Two balls and two strikes. Throw to first, not in time. Gun back on the bag. Again, White House rallying here in the uh, third inning. with a tying run on it first and just one out. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Haggerty took something off that, stayed outside, and the count goes full. And Bailey ready to work here. And a 3-2 pitch. It swung on a hit back to Haggerty, went off her glove. She will field it, lob to first in time. Runner moves down to second. Gunn moves to second on the play as Haggerty gets the out. Stayed with that ball as it uh, went off of her uh, back toward the uh, circle. They may check and make sure Bailey's okay after taking that ball off of her and back out there. And so a meeting going on out there at second base. Two outs now for White House. And uh, we're just about ready to uh, get back in uh, action here. Uh, 
Uh, again, gun uh, running down at second base. Running at second, number five, Presley Skinner. And we did have a uh, Presley Skinner is now running at second base. Caroline Smoot. And Caroline Smoot is the hitter. She grounded the second first time up, 0 for 1. And here's Haggerty's pitch, swing and a miss for strike one. And the next pitch on the way is just low. So one and one to Smoot. And Haggerty's 1-1 pitch on the way. In there for a call strike. One ball and two strikes. Again, White House with two outs, but they have the tying run at second base, and they've already scored two in the inning to close this down to a 5-4 ball game. And the 1-2 pitch swung on and uh, rolls uh, slowly to Wallace at short. The throw to first is in time. Nice play by Kelsey Wallace to Hit the smooth at first base for out number three. But White House will put two on the board. And they had three hits in the inning, the second uh, inning uh, today that they've had two runs and three hits. No Lady Cat errors. And White House had one runner left on base. So we've played three complete innings here from White House. We have a new score now. The Sulphur Springs Lady Cats five and White House four. That's a top of the fourth inning here at White House. And uh, Sulphur Springs leading uh, White House 5-4. to four. And the Lady Cats will have 8, 9, and 1 scheduled to hit here in the top of the fourth inning. It'll be Maddie Millsap, Nyla Lindley, and Kelsey Wallace. And uh, Maddie Wright is out to pitch her fourth Maddie inning. Millsap. And Maddie Millsap grounded to short her first time up, 0 for 1. Okay, and the first pitch from right is a call strike on the outside part of the plate. And Nyla Lindley in the on deck area. And the 0 1 pitch. Swung on and hit foul, and that will just creep over the screen and hit on the top of the White House dugout and head on out of play. So 0 and 2 to Maddie Millsap. Hitting from the right side. And the 0-2 pitch, that's high and outside, one ball and two strikes. I think each team now has six hits in the ball game. And the one-two pitch, one on drill down the third baseline. It got by the third baseman and now got by the left fielder. Matty Millsap will steam into second with a double. That ball took a big uh, artificial hop, artificial turf hop over, over the third baseman. He had her glove down and and then went down in that corner and uh, jumped over the left fielder's glove. So a double for Matty Millsap. And here's Nyla Lindley. 0 for 1 in the ball game, grounded to short. And the pitch from right is bunted on by Lindley down the third baseline fielded. Throw to first, not nearly in time. As Nyla Lindley with a bunt hit, we talked about how hard it is to bunt on that surface. That was about as uh, pretty as you can get with a bunt. And, of course, Lindley with that blazing speed. I heard from a source the other day that she was the fastest girl in the sixth grade. There's uh, some track coaches probably crying real tears that, uh, that she... Uh, is not moved by track. They could use that blinding speed. Runners at uh, third and first, uh, nobody out. And here's uh, Kelsey Wallace. First pitch in there for a call strike. 
first uh, time we've had a look at Kelsey since she uh, got hit by that pitch on the left wrist. And let's we'll see if it harms her batting. She's one for one in the ball game. Scored two runs and was hit by the pitch. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That's outside, one ball and one strike. Lady Cats at the corners with nobody out. Millsap at third. Oh, Lindley's at second base. Boy, she's so fast she got there and I didn't even see her. Here's a ball hit uh, up the middle for a base hit. And he will put the brakes on Lindley this time. Probably a pretty good idea. That was a beautiful throw from the center field and it was designated. It looked like it was going to be a one hopper into home plate. So David Carrillo using good judgment, but an RBI single for Kelsey Wallace. And she's now and two for two. So Millsap scored. So Lindley at third and Wallace is second. And Wallace already has two st stolen bases here. And here's Allie Fight. She's one out of two. On on an error and hit a triple. And that pitch, a call strike on the outside part of the plate. 0-1 oh the count. Fight has also scored twice. Scored a couple of runs and drove one in when that triple went over the right fielder's head and that right fielder has backed up a little bit and she's shading her eyes from this sun. She's in the sun field out there. Swung on and uh, bloop down the right side. That'll hit the will go past just past the Lady Cats dugout and on out of play and it's 0-2 to Alley Fight. Lady Cats up 6-4 now. Boy this is this has been a hitter's a ball game tonight. Everybody brought the hitting shoes and the hot bats. And pitch on the way, swung on, grounded uh, to the second baseman, fielded, throw to first, and on the play, Lindley will come down and score for the Lady Cats. That is the first out of the inning. And on the play again, Lindley scored, make it a 7-4 ball game. And Wallace Brinkley moved Driver. down to second base. And here's Brinkley Driver. She's two for two with a pair of singles. Scored a run and drove one home. And the pass pitch to Brinkley is outside for ball one. Just off the plate. And Wallace running at second. And mighty Matty Wright toes that rubber. And the 1-0 pitch that came in low. 2-0 the count to Brinkley Driver. After Brinkley hit that uh, blooper the first time, she hit a rocket through the middle that second time. Here's the next pitch is off the plate. Oh, no, a call strike. Hmm, two balls and one strike. And two and one the count to Brinkley Driver. And Wright's 2-1 pitch on the way. That missed off the plate. Three and one the count to Brinkley. That's in there straight away. Foot right up against the uh, back of that batter's box. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Call strike. Uh, she got a recall notice. She thought that was ball four. And the count goes full. And my advice after that, an uh, umpire may feel like he got showed up, shown up a little bit. I would swing at anything near the strike zone, or maybe not even near. <laughs> and here's Wright's 3-2 pitch. Swung on and hit uh, slowly towards second base. Fielded. The throw to first is in time. Wallace moves over to third. That's out number two. And she did extend out there a little bit to hit that ball. Of course, to the Lady Cats, that, that outside pitch is, is uh, being called a strike occasionally, so you don't want to just uh, get called out up there. Two out now with a runner at third. Lady Cats leading 7-4, and here's Kate Womack. She's one out of two. Had an RBI single in the second inning, and that pitch is going to be outside. Ball one. 
Yeah, the umpire likes to digest those pitches a little bit, so you kind of have to wait him out. And the 1-0 pitch off the plate, 2-0 the count. Again, Womack lined out to third in foul territory the first time and then singled, RBI single. She was out trying to advance to second base. Next pitch on the way is swung on and blooped out toward left center field, and it is in there. Just in front of the center fielder, just uh, got down to the ground in time. Uh, another duck snort out there into left center field, an RBI single for Kate Womack. And Wallace came in to score. And the Lady Cats lead 8 4 now. Coming up, Sadie Stroud. She's one out of two. Singled in the first, grounded to first. So one for two with uh, Womack running at first. And the pitch to Stroud is strike on the outside part of the plate. Sierra Smith in the on-deck circle. He put the circle there. That's where they'll stand. Here's the old one pitch that missed outside. One ball and one strike. Usually just say in the on-deck area because uh, most, you know, that's, I don't know anybody that stripes that off on a, a dirt field. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Swung on a hit out toward right field, and it's in there and goes past the right fielder all the way to the wall. Coming around third, Kate Womack uh, heading to the plate, and Sierra Smith will uh, be uh, heading home, and Sierra Smith will have an inside-the-park home run. And I know for a fact that's the second one she's hit, the first ball game we ever saw her play. As a freshman, she had two homers, hit one out, and had an inside-the-parker. Boy, that just, uh, our vision is obscured out there. That ball just seemed to fall into a black hole down that right field line. And uh, Sierra just never stopped uh, running. 17. Sierra Smith. Or Sadie just never stopped running. I felt like I called her Sierra. 10 to 4 now. The Lady Cats a 5 spot here. And here is Sierra Smith. I don't know that I've ever called Sadie Sierra twice, and I've done it in this ball game. Here's a pitch on the way, and there's a call strike. The outside part of the plate for strike one. Sierra's 0 for 2, grounded to second, and flied to center field. She hit that ball well to center, but the uh, ball hung up for the center fielder and made a nice catch out there. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Off the plate, one ball and one strike. Big inning for the Lady Cats. Lots of hits. Five runs, five hits. And the 1-1 pitch is swung on and uh, hit uh, deep to center field. The center fielder backing up and makes the catch out there. by uh, Kenzie Wright um, on the catch, and that'll do it for the Lady Cats, but a huge inning as uh, they score five. One, two, three, four, five hits. And no errors by White House. And nobody left on base. So we've played three and a half here from White House. A new score, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs, 10 and White House, 4. That's the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. The Lady Cats with a 10-4 lead. Good buddy. In case you got your ears on. Anybody remember all that jive, <laughs> all that CB lingo? I wonder if they still, do they still use all those terms and everything? I guess they never changed. The rest of the world did after everybody was saying all that stuff. County Mounties and full-grown bear with teeth. <laughs> it was a DPS trooper with radar. In case Corey Hell's listening out there. I think I've seen him every day this week. I don't know why he's not out here. <laughs> I guess I'll see him tomorrow. Boy, big big night in Sulphur Springs tomorrow with the Wildcats on senior night. Uh, with a game they have to have to, have to, have to get into the playoffs. Lady Cats, game two of their best two out of three series. And here's Chloe Hortman uh, batting against uh, Bailey Haggerty. 
Kentucky 7, 8, and 9 for White House. First pitch from Bailey in there for a call strike. Portman was a strikeout victim back in the second. 0 for 1. A slick fielding uh, White House shortstop. An L1 pitch in there. Nope, excuse me. Got to quit calling balls and strikes. The guy with a mask on there and the blue shirt will do that. One ball and one strike. And Bailey Haggerty, 1-1 one, one pitch. Call, strike on the outside part. One ball and two strikes. Well, we've played, we've had seven at-bats so far, and five of them have produced runs. We've had two zeros put up there. And a hitter's night tonight. And the next pitch off the plate, two balls and two strikes. White House has six hits, and uh, Lady Cats have 11, but they got five of them in the top half. Here's a ball blooped, uh, and Maddie Millsap with a nice catch in foul territory, heading back. Got her arm punched there by uh, Sierra Smith, I guess. Uh, way to go. So that's out number one. And here's Paulina Diaz. Whoop, no, we're going to have a pinch hitter here. This will be Callie Smith. So Callie Smith uh, hitting here in the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. Hitting for Paulina Diaz, the uh, left fielder. Pinch hitting for White House number 12, Callie Smith. So with one out, nobody on here in the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. Umpire making note of that as they keep up with those uh, changes. And here's Callie Smith. Hits from the right side. Umpire still uh, getting ready to go. We got everything marked now. Has the mask on. Now we're all ready to go here. And so is Haggerty, and so is the batter, Callie Smith. And the pitch on the way is going to miss for ball one. So 1-0 the count to the pinch hitter here in the bottom of the fourth. Haggerty's next pitch is a call strike outside part of the plate. One ball, one strike. Avery Taylor on deck, and if they can extend the in inning after that, Kenzie Wright scheduled to hit here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch inside, and uh, two and one the count. To Smith. What, what's Bailey to do? Uh, she loves to reach down and grab that dirt, I guess grab that rosin bag tonight. And the 2-1 pitch is fouled. Uh, that looked like it was going to hit me right between the eyes as it came back into that screen. Remember those old 3D movies when you had those funky-looking glasses on in the theater? If they had to put that on 3D. I had everybody jumping two rows back. <laughs> two and two, the count with one out. And the pitch on the way is swung on, foul back into the screen. Remember that old movie, House of Wax? It was one of those they did the 3D treatment. They had a guy that had one of those, uh, oh, what did they call those old paddles? They hit that ball that was attached, and they were hitting that toward the screen, and it just kept looking like it was leaping right, right at you. And the 2-2 pitch misses outside. The count goes full to Callie Smith. One out, nobody on. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Lady Cats leading 10-4. And Bailey Haggerty consulting that wristband after getting the pitch from Bailey Dorner. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. A strikeout for Haggerty. Four out number two. And let's see, four Bailey. That is strikeout number three. 
Up for the Lady Cats, number eight, Avery Taylor. And here's Avery Taylor. She, uh, I said pop up to the catcher. I don't, I don't remember. I may have marked that down wrong. But anyway, popped the ball up. First time up, 0 for 1. And the pitch to Taylor swung on and foul back into the screen for strike one. Bailey Haggerty trying to put White House up and down in order. She's done that one time that was in the second inning. And outside of that, they've stirred things up with some runs and hits. And Haggerty's 0-1 pitch, that came in low. One ball, one strike. Beautiful night for a softball here in uh, White House. A shirt sleeve crowd. And the 1-1 pitch swing and a miss by Taylor. And the count goes one and two. And Taylor steps out and looks at Coach Clemens down at third. Acts like she's going to square around. Now pulls that back. Pitch missed off the outside part of the plate. Two balls and two strikes for the nine-hole hitter for White House, Avery Taylor. And second sacker for White House. And Haggerty's 2-2 pitch on the way. Swung on and uh, now Tommy Hawk out into right field. They throw the first, not in time. Taylor beat the throw as she blooped it just inside the line. Allie Fight caught it on one hop, was playing fairly shallow through the first, but uh, base hit for Taylor for two outs. That'll bring up Kinsey Wright. She's one out of two. Singled and scored in the first and grounded to second. On a bang, bang play at first base. Major League Baseball perhaps would get out those red flags to say, let's take another look at that one. Here's a pitch from Bailey Haggerty, and that misses inside. Ball one to right. Taylor running down at third base, or first base, excuse me, for White House in this 10-4 ball game as we play here in the bottom of the fourth. Haggerty's 1-0 pitch in there for a call strike. One ball and one strike. One of these uh, dangerous uh, left-handed slap hitters in the they are hard to get out. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Uh, runner takes off the throw to second, not in time. Took a while for Brinkley to realize that runner was taking off, so a stolen base for Taylor. And the count two and one now. Kenzie Wright back in there. And the 2 1 pitch swung on and hit to Wallace on one hop. Feels it, throw across, not nearly in time. And there's a throw back to third base. Taylor got back in over there. And so another leg hit for, uh, for White House. That ball took a high hop on Wallace. She had to kind of corral it and then threw to first and not in time. So runners at the corners now with two outs. And here's Maddie Wright. She's two for two with two infield singles. And again, we say without getting the ball out of the infield, but that's when slappers are dangerous when they keep that ball on the infield. Pitch up too high. They let the runner steal second. So Kenzie Wright will swipe second. So runner's now at third and second. I think that's a way of saying you want to concentrate on the batter because that's all, all that really matters. 1-0 one, one, one pitch and in there for a call strike. One ball and one strike to Matty Wright. White House with runners on third and second with two outs. And Wright the hitter. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch that was swung on. Hit back into the screen. One ball and two strikes. And Wright stepping out and taking a couple of practice swings. And now Haggerty does go to that rosin bag. She likes to dig in that dirt and can't do, <laughs> can't do that tonight. None out there. 
And the one-two pitch that swung on and hit foul again. That big, tall screen catching just about everything tonight. One and two, the count remains on Matty Wright. And Wright back in the batter's box, and her left foot is all the way back to the back of that batter's box. And Haggerty now with a one-two pitch. And again, just enough of it to foul back into the screen and stay alive there at one ball and two strikes. And Kate Womack had had a word with uh, Brinkley Driver as she came in on on that uh, foul play. And be interesting to know what what that conversation was. Once again, Bailey to the Rosen bag. And the one-two pitch on the way is going to miss outside. Two balls and two strikes. That was a close pitch. Maddie right back in there. Straight away in that batter's box. All the way down on the end of that bat. And the 2-2 pitch swung on and hit to Millsap down at first, and she'll win the race to the bag just ahead of Fleet uh, Maddie Wright. And that's going to do it. Uh, Look like a potential rally, but the Lady Cat's able to put out the fire. No runs and two hits. No Lady Cat errors and two White House runners left on base. We played four complete innings here at White House. Our score, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs 10 and White House 4. It's the uh, top of the fifth inning. Uh, Ten to uh, four is our score. And uh, Addison Cadell and Maddie Millsap and Nyla Lindley, seven, eight, and nine in the Lady Cats order, scheduled to hit here in the top of the fifth inning. And Addison is 0 for 2 as she's hit the ball on the infield twice. Uh, grounded back to the pitcher and then hit a ball up the middle that came so close to being a a single, but the shortstop cut it off and made a nice strong Lady throw to Addison first. Springs, 10, so she's 0 for 2. And Addison in there. From that uh, kind of crouches up there at home plate. And Maddie Wright out there to work another inning, and the first pitch is going to miss outside ball one to Addison Cadell. What? Addison, a freshman on this senior laden team. On senior night, had four non seniors and ten seniors. Next pitch is strike on the outside part, one ball and one strike. For the most part, uh, Wright has kept that ball outside. Really keeping that ball away from them. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Swung on, grounded to second on several hops, fielded. Oh, a throw to first is low. And uh, Addison Cadell will be on on the throwing error on White House. And let's see if, if they will bring a... Uh, runner out of that dugout or if they're going to let Cadell run. Yes, here comes a runner. And that will be Landry Bell coming out of the dugout for the Lady Cats. So Bell running at first. And Matty Millsap will be the next hitter. Umpire making note of that uh, runner down at first. Maddie Millsap is one out of two. Hit a very nice double past the third baseman all the way to the left field wall. Her last time up and grounded to short. One out of two. Pitch to Maddie is swung on, hit foul out of play off to the right. And finds the cement and on out of the way there for strike one. Just a beautiful ballpark here. Built this since I was last here. I 
Not sure when I was in the White House last. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swung on, grounded uh, to the third baseman. Cuts it off, throws to second out there. The throw to first, not in time. Uh, White House gets the lead runner. Maddie Millsap on on the fielder's choice. But a good job of cutting that ball off. As Maddie made a bid to send that out into left field. So Millsap running at first with one out, and here's Nala Lindley. She's one out of two, singled and scored in the fourth, and grounded to short in the second. Nala's single was a bunt. Pitch on the way, swung on, lashed down the left field line. It'll go all the way to the wall, and uh, Coach Carrillo is going to send uh, Maddie Millsap home, and uh, and she will score without a throw being made on a double, RBI double by Nyla Lindley. And good base running by Maddie Millsap, scoring all the way from first base on that double. It's an 11-4 ball game now. And that'll bring up Kelsey Wallace. She is two for two and was hit by a pitch. She scored three runs, stolen two bases, and has an RBI. And the first pitch to Kelsey is swung on and blooped out into center field, a base hit. And Nyla Lindley rounds third, and here she comes, and she'll score. Nyla with that blazing speed, an RBI single for Kelsey Wallace. It's a 12-4 ball game. As the Lady Cats uh, have scored in all but one inning, two runs, three runs, that goose egg there in the third inning, and then five runs and two runs. Allie Fight, uh, she is uh, one out of three and has scored two runs. Has an RBI. Pitch to Allie is call strike. The outside part of the plate. Kelsey Wallace running down at first. Just one out in the inning for the Lady Cats. Pitch to Allie, swung on foul right back over our head here. And 0-2 the count to Alley Fight. And Alley back in the batter's box now. As uh, Maddie Wright gets ready to work. Now Alley stepped out. cat and mouse game sometime between the batter and the pitcher. And here's the 0-2 pitch. That's high and outside. One ball and two strikes. And Alley back in that batter's box now. And here's the one-two pitch on the way, and that bounced in, got away from the catcher, and uh, Wallace will take off to second base. So now Wallace at second. And the count two and two now to Alley Fight. And the 2-2 pitch on the way is swung on and fouled off to the right side into the screen, and the count remains two balls and two strikes. By district action tomorrow night in Sulphur Springs, 6.30 start at Lady Cat Park. And I expect the place to be packed. They've been drawing good crowds this year. For the 2-2 pitch. Inside, the count goes full to Alley Fight. And Alley back in the batter's box. And Maddie Wright ready to work. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Swung on, grounded to the second baseman. One big hop. Throw to first in time for out number two. And Wallace moves to third base. That'll bring up Brinkley Driver. Brinkley is two out of three. Suffer Springs, number 22, Brinkley Driver. Singled in the first, singled in the second. Uh, drove in two runs with that and then grounded to second. And 
And the pitch from right is high and outside. Ball one to Brinkley Driver. And Brinkley back in there. And Wallace running at third. Lady Cats leading 12-4 here. And the pitch to Brinkley outside. Two and uh, one ball and one strike to count. No, two and oh, excuse me. I just marked that first pitch wrong. 2-0 the count. And Wright's 2-0 pitch. Missed outside. 3-0 the count. And driver back in the batter's box. And the 3-0 pitch. Caught the outside part of the plate. 3-1 the count to Brinkley Driver. Boy, happily named as she drives that ball. That uh, second uh, single she got was vicious. It was uh, hit with a lot of authority. And the 3-1 pitch is swung on, foul back over our head, and the count uh, goes full. So right after falling behind 3-0 and is battle back to a full count here. And Prinkley back in the batter's box. Right ready to work, and here's the 3-2 pitch. It swung on, hit foul off to the right side. And the count remains, three balls and two strikes. Lady Cats 12, White House 4 here in the top of the fifth inning. And right uh, back uh, on the pitching rubber, and here's the 3-2 pitch. Swung on and hit out into right field for a base hit. Wallace will score. That'll make it a 13-4 ball game. RBI single for Brinkley Driver just out of the uh, uh, reach of uh, Avery Taylor, who was reaching out for that ball, just couldn't quite flag it down. And it's 13-4. And here's Kate Womack. She's two out of three. Kate hit a line drive down to the third baseman. First time up and then singled in the second. And drove a run in and singled and scored in the fourth and drove a run in. So she's had a good day with a bat. Here's the first pitch. It's in there for a call strike. I thought it was. <laughs> and, uh, and he called it. Just he says, hey, don't rush me. 0-1 oh the count to Kate Womack. That pitch outside, uh, one ball and one strike. And once again, we have uh, Cole Bria Harrison running at first base for uh, Brinkley Driver. Cole Bria scored a run in the second. 1-1 one, one pitch. Missed outside, 2-1 and one the count to Kate Womack. And toes the rubber out there, does Matty Wright. And the 2-1 pitch. Missed outside, 3-1 and one the count. Kate back in the batter's box. And Wright ready to work, and here comes a 3-1 pitch. And ball four. And the Lady Cats have runners at second and first. Harrison moves to second. And a walk uh, to Kate Womack. That'll bring up Sadie Stroud. Uh, she's two for three in the ball game. Singled in the first. Grounded to first and then hit an inside the park home run. And uh, we're going to have a conference here. As a White House pitching coach comes out to talk to uh, Maddie Wright. Let's take a break here, James. We'll come back and take a quick uh, break and come back with more right after this. I just played the Jeopardy music for us. <laughs> that little interlude there. Uh, pitching coach back to the dugout. The White House players are still uh, gathered around the pitcher out there and talking it over. And now they 
break and everybody will head to their position. All four infielders and the catcher. And here's Sadie Stroud. With Lady Katz at first and second and two out. And the pitch to Sadie is swung on and hit foul down the right field way off the line, maybe about oh, five yards, maybe. Fairly close uh, bid down there for a base hit. Strike one now to Sadie Stroud. And right, ready to work. And the old one pitch, that comes in too high, one ball and one strike. Here's Sadie Stroud. Right's 1-1 uh, one, one pitch on the way, swung on, base hit to left field, just past the shortstop. Kilbria Harrison heading to the plate, the throw on the way, cut off. And it's a 14-4 ball game. As uh, the Lady Cats uh, up to 10 run lead there on uh, Sadie Stroud's RBI single, just got it past infielders. Up next for Selfish Plains, number 17, Sierra Smith. And nice base running by Harrison to come in to score from second base. And runners now at second and first. Here's Sierra Smith, foul tip at home plate area for strike one. As the Lady Cats have batted around here in the inning. Their ninth hitter in the inning. Sierra's 0 for 3. Grounded to second and hit two fly balls out to the center fielder. And Wright's 0-1 pitch. Comes in too high. One ball and one strike. Again, Kate Womack at second and Sadie Stroud at first for the Lady Cats. As they've had a four spot here. One one pitch outside. Two and one the count. And Stroud steps back. Oh, excuse me. Smith steps back in. It's only fair. I called uh, Sadie Sierra a couple of times. There's the ball swung on and hit off the end of the bat to the second baseman. Fields throw to first in time. And that's going to do it for the uh, Lady Cats. But uh, they bat all the way around and score four runs in the inning. And let's see, one, two, three, four hits, one White House error, and uh, Lady Cats had two runners left on base. So we've played uh, four and a half innings now from White House. Our new score, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs, 14 and uh, White House 4. The bottom of the fifth inning, White House will bring to the plate uh, Michaela Moore, Jaden Gunn, and Carly Cobb. The hitters three, four, and five for them. As right now, the Lady Cats, after the throw to second base, are gathered around uh, pitcher Bailey Haggerty out in the circle. Exchange those high fives and, and all that stuff they do. And Michaela Moore will be stepping in. She's had a really good ball game. She's two for two, a single and a RBI double, and also scored in that third inning. So two for two in the ball game. And the pitch to Moore is swung on and uh, blooped toward left field. The shortstop Wallace is back and makes that catch in left field. Well, I don't know anybody that does that any better than Kelsey Wallace. So out number one, and here's uh, Jaden Gunn. Sacrifice fly that drove in a run in the first. And she singled in the third, so she's officially one for one with two RBIs. So they had a good game out of that four spot. Bats here with one out. Nobody on in the bottom of the fifth, and the Lady Cats leading 14 to four. Bailey Haggerty pitch on the way is swung on, hit off the fist, foul territory. Kate Womack gives chase but can't get there. And one strike to count to Jaden Gunn. 
talked about, uh, she reminded me of Sheriff Lester Gunn. He had a son named Billy Gunn, and he was, a, I believe, a DPS trooper, maybe, maybe Texas Ranger. I don't know. He, he had several jobs, but another great lawman name. There's a ball swung on, hit out to left center field, and coming in to make the catch is here. Uh, boy, I did it again. <laughs> Sadie Stroud. I have never done that, and I'm just... She is Sierra Stroud all night long tonight. I apologize, Sadie. I know better than that. There's bound to be, what, lack of sleep? How about that? Will that work? I don't know. Next for White House, number 17, Carly Cobb. Two up, two out, and here's Carly Cobb. Hit down to the first baseman and grounded back to the pitcher 0 for 2. Pitch from Bailey Haggerty is uh, misses outside, ball 1. So we play here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Sun just now beginning to set here in White House. They've got the lights turned on. They're beginning to take effect. That pitch misses off the plate. 2-0 the count. White House with eight hits tonight. Four runs, eight hits. And the 2-0 pitch swung on and blooped towards center field and caught out there by Sadie Stroud. And that's uh, going to be uh, three up and three down, and that is the ball game. So the game uh, called by the 10-run rule after five innings. And uh, the score is 14-4 to for those keeping score at home and even for those that aren't. Lady Cats win it 14-4. to Two runs in the first, three runs in the second. No runs in the third, but then five in the fourth inning and four more in the fifth inning. And the Lady Cats win it 14-4, to and they take uh, the lead in this uh, best two out of three series, uh, one game to zero. And uh, with game two coming up tomorrow night, again, that will be at Lady Cat Park at 6.30. And... Uh, if necessary, game three will be Saturday morning right back here at White House starting at 11.30. The Lady Cats uh, win uh, big uh, in this uh, opener, kind of making a statement here on this opening night as they really pounded the ball. Let me see if I can uh, figure out how many hits they had here in this ball game. Three, six, 11, 15 hits is what I had for the Lady Cats, and I don't think there were that many that uh, I would quarrel end up uh, having to take back uh, because they may have been ruled by errors uh, by the uh, Lady Cat staff, but uh, we shall see how that all comes out. But uh, Lady Cats, uh, 14 runs, 15 hits is what I had in my book. Bailey Haggerty, the winning pitcher, and uh, Maddie Wright takes the loss for White House. And uh, we'll get to do all this uh, again tomorrow night again at Lady Cat Park when the Lady Cat's a chance to wrap it up and White House will be playing to to keep uh, their season alive uh, trying to win game two so that's uh, going to wrap it up uh, let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up here from White House as James Terry uh, running our spots back at the station thank you very much James for all you do Doug Haston uh, doing the engineering again we were not able to live stream tonight the uh, this uh, beautiful field uh, it, that it may be does not have the proper connection that we need uh, in order to do that. And uh, let's face it, we didn't have it at Lady Cat Park until about uh, maybe three, four weeks ago, something like that, when that uh, line got put in. And baseball and softball allowing us to do that. We were unable to do it until that happened. So uh, we appreciate that. I'm Don Julian with your play-by-play, -play and once again, the final score here in Game 1 of uh, our uh, by-district best two out of three series, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs defeat White House by the final score of 14-4. to Thank you so much for joining us this evening, and so long, everybody.